Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Salsaf International Conference on Medical and Health Science 2020. We are certainly in the COVID-19 pandemic, but we can still see each other in this room by using Zoom meeting, so we can do our conference today. Let me introduce myself. I'm Safitri as a moderator in this conference. Today, we are going to talk about the development of COVID-19, especially for children. The presentation will be presented by Dr. Sal Safitria from Ikatan Dokter Indonesia. Let's welcome Dr. Sal Safitria. Time is yours. Thank you so much, Ms. Safitri, and hello, good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Sal Safitria from Ikatan Dokter Indonesia. Big thanks for Salsaf International Conference on Medical and Health Science 2020 for giving me a chance to present the medical journal in front of you all. On this occasion, I will discuss about medical journal with the title From SARS to COVID-19. What we have learned about children infected with COVID-19 by Meng Yu Zhu, Xiong Ling Xi, Yong Gang Peng, Meng Jun Wu, Xiong Zeng Deng, Yong Wu Li Xing, Xiong Li Hong Sang in International Journal of Infectious Diseases. Before we start the main topic, we are going to talk the abstract. Abstract consists of introduction, aim, method, result, and conclusion. Coronaviruses, both SARS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus 2, first appeared in China. They have certain biological, epidemiological, and pathological similarities. The aim of this journal is to find out more about SARS and COVID-19. For method, it draw upon the lesson learned from SARS in terms of epidemiology clinical characteristic and pathogenesis. Result, by comparing these two diseases, it found that COVID-19 has quicker and wider transmission and higher morbidity and mortality. For conclusion, based on this early observation, as pediatrician, this review put forward some tours on children's COVID-19 and gave some recommendation to contain the disease. Let's talk about the introduction or research background about COVID-19. A cluster of patients present with pneumonia caused by an unknown pathogen that was linked to the seafood wholesale market in Wuhan, China in December 2019. It was named Surf Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS Coronavirus 2 by Coronavirus Study Group or CSG of the International Committee on Taxonomy of Virus. The disease caused by the virus was named Coronavirus 2019 or COVID-19 by the World Health Organization. It contains more than 80,000 confirmed cases and more than 4,000 deaths had been reported within a matter of four months in China by 25 April 2020. First, one person, then two people, then three people, this this is quickly spared. As a new virus, the biological characteristic, epidemiology, pathogenicity, and community of SARS coronavirus 2 have not been illustrated, and specific drugs and vaccines are still being investigated. Children as a special group show different clinical features when compared with adults. Regarding this is spread, both SARS and COVID-19 can be transmitted through droplets and contact. The most common symptoms of these two diseases were fever and cough, and the majority of children have a good prognosis. Children with COVID-19 exhibit less fever and were more asymptomatic. 
Younger children, especially newborns affected by COVID-19, had a poor outcome, which was different from children with SARS, which show that increased age predict a worse outcome. In general, both of these two diseases have the following characteristic. First, normal or decreased peripheral white blood cells. Second, decreased lipocytes. Third, mild abnormal liver function and myocardial enzymes. However, children infected with COVID-19 have shown higher CRP, which is different from the children with SARS. How about the treatment? Many children infected with SARS were treated with hormones, but recent a report has suggested that the available clinical evidence does not support the use of corticosteroid to treat patients infected with COVID-19. Therefore, what use of hormones in children infected with COVID-19 remains skeptical. Clinicians should monitor and pay attention to this early warning biochemical biochemical indicators which can help to identify surf cases. They are CD4 plus and CD4 A plus T cells, G, high LHD, and a higher percentage of neuropils. Why do children infection with COVID-19 have mild clinical symptoms? First, children have a variety of memory T cells specific to the virus from frequent exposure to a variety of virus in childhood. Second, vaccination help the body to form protective immune responses. Third, children's immune system are still developing and a recent study found that anxiety, depression, and stress are common in young people during the COVID-19 pandemic. And further research is required to study the mental health of young children infected with COVID-19. Conclusion Discussing about children's SARS and COVID-19 from epidemiological to clinical characteristics, there are limited data on children with COVID-19. There is an urgent need to define the clinical characteristic and serve of disease, especially in those countries that lack pediatric patient data. At present, China has made initial progress in containing the spread of COVID-19, but many countries are still suffering from the disease. This is the end of my presentation, no more or less, as well as mistakes that I said either intentionally or not. I really apologize. Thanks for your attention. Good morning.